Hey guys, in this video I'm going to take you through my Lightroom workflow for turning a pretty boring photo into a really dramatic final portrait. You can download the project files for this tutorial to see exactly how everything was put together and have a photo to work with if you don't have one of your own. Let's get started. So here's our source image and this is an example of what we're going to be creating. Now rather than just go through and give you the values I used for each setting, I'm going to walk you through my editing process and actually give you the reasons for why I'm doing what I do. So going back to our source image, the first thing that I want to do is change the white balance. And I'm going to go over here and make it a little bluer and maybe add some green just to give it kind of a more industrial type look. Next I'm going to increase the clarity, that way I have a little more contrast between the bright and dark areas of the image. After that I'm going to bring the exposure up just a bit. Now one of the things that I notice about this image is that the highlights aren't quite white and for this image that's something that I want so I'm going to go into my tone curve panel and I'm going to turn the highlights up to about 25 and I'm going to drag this slider so it only affects the very brightest parts of our image. So now you can see it's brightened up those very brightest highlights just a bit. Now I'm going to go back into my basic panel and I'm going to bring down the blacks just a little bit as well. That way I get a little more contrast in the image. On top of bringing the blacks down, I'm going to push the whites up just a little bit. Next, I'm going to increase the shadow slider just a little bit. That way I can bring back some of the detail that's in the shadows without making the image too much brighter. Next, I'm going to go into the hue, saturation, and luminance panel. And I'm going to take some of the red out of this image. That way the skin doesn't look quite as realistic. And that will make the image just look a little colder and more interesting. If I go back to my basic panel, I want this image to have a little less saturation. So I'm going to go down to the vibrance and bring that down a bit. And then go down to the saturation and bring that down all the way to about negative 50 or so. So now there's hardly any color in this picture. So what I want to do is bring back some color, but only using a specific color palette. So I'm going to go into my split toning panel and I'm going to turn the saturation up to about 25 and I'm going to change the hue to kind of a skin tone, maybe a little yellower than skin tone color. Next I'm going to go into my detail panel and I'm going to increase the sharpening all the way up just because it suits the hard dynamic nature of my image a little bit better. Now I'm going to scroll down and go into my effects panel and I want to darken these edges so I'm going to turn the amount down for my post crop vignetting to about negative 15 or so and I want to make the vignette reach into the image a little more, so I'm going to take the midpoint down to about 35. Now if I go back into my basic panel and zoom into my image, now I'm going to use the adjustment brush tool and bring up the brightness and saturation in the eyes. So I'm going to paint a mask on each of the eyes here. And then over here in my panel, I'm going to increase the exposure to about 1.6 and bring the saturation up to about 50 and I'm going to set this clarity back down to zero. And then I'm just going to adjust my mask to cover the eyes a little bit more. Now I can click my adjustment brush to turn that off and zoom back out. Now the ear on this side is a little brighter than the one on this side so I'm going to use my adjustment brush again and increase the size and just paint along the left edge here and then I'm going to adjust these settings to everything to zero and then I'm going to take the exposure down just a bit so it matches the other side. Now I can just back out of my adjustment brush and everything looks similar. And I want to darken the edges just a bit so I'm going to go back into my effects panel and bring down the vignette just a bit and make it reach a little farther into the center. And that's pretty much it. You can see the before here which is a really dull boring flat photo and this is a pretty extreme example, but now you can see how powerful Lightroom is and how you can completely transform an image from unusable and boring to really dynamic and engaging. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.